Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Swag and Sorcery. It's the latest game by Lazy Bear Games, the people that made Punch Club. And I guess maybe more infamously, Graveyard Keeper? I'm not actually sure which one did better. Uh, but most recently, I sat down and stubbornly pushed my way through the rest of, of Graveyard Keeper. And it was very satisfying, and I, I really enjoyed it. But, uh, oh boy, that actually was one of the longer series I have ever done on this channel. And, uh, yeah, just in time, too, because apparently Swag and Sorcery is just around the corner. Which is awesome, uh, because this is actually one of those games that makes me really happy to be and, uh, to be who I am and do what I do. Because this is actually one of those games that I've been wanting for ages. I'm gonna switch out my headphones. I have multiple types of headphones here. And one is, these are just too quiet. And the acoustics in my room just don't support them. A shame. Anyway. Uh, so let's let's talk about why this game is so exciting for me. Admittedly, this is based on like my first impressions of like the trailer and stuff. But I've always wanted to play a game where you're effectively managing the teams of heroes and then sending them out to do their thing, and then waiting for them to come back and slowly building up your town. Now I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be fully what this game is. Uh, but the moment I heard about it, I'm like, oh my god, it's like an inch away from that perfect ideal of a game I've never seen before. So let's get going. A most important important mission. Wait, hold on. There's supposed to be an intro to this. Let's trash this and let's try this again. Maybe we'll get it this time. There Once we go. Upon a time in a faraway fairy kingdom, a very wise king ruled. Your Majesty, the treasure is almost empty. Enemies have occupied the far frontiers. As your advisor, I've prepared a list of measures. You're so boring with your lists! Your king has thought this through. All our problems will be solved by my great-great-grandfather's magical costume. Simple, like all brilliant plans. Sometimes, the king came up with truly amazing ideas. In fact, the king's great-great-grandfather did have a magical costume. And it was indeed a time of peace in the kingdom. But alas, the costume was stolen. What a cool costume! It would be a sin not to steal it. Oh, what a lovely kitty! You call me a kitty again, and I'll bite your nose off. I'm the black cat. Oh, I see. My apologies. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. So the king found a way to save the kingdom. Silence! Stop talking. There, my word is law. We have an absolute monarchy, after all. I order my loyal heroes to go out, go forth at once in search of the costume. All right, most important mission. His Majesty Chancellery welcomes you. Our king requires heroes to complete the, his most important mission. It's urgent that you hire one in the guild. Hire, hire a hero in the guild. Start a new character, click on the guild icon. Guild, hire a new character. That suave man. Hero hired. Complete. For now, your fighter couldn't cope with an angry beaver, but training and trials will forge them into a real hero. And you deserve a reward. Okay, go fight stuff, I guess. Let's see. So heroes shouldn't just hang around all day. It makes them fat, obnoxious, fat and obnoxious. Send your fighter out to, the, to explore the magical forest. You know... Huh, okay, so send them, just drag them over. I guess this is why it didn't work with my controller. That's understandable. Huh. The more I look at this, the more it actually really does remind me of... Is it Weapon Shop Fantasy? It was a game I played a while back, but the translation on it was so bad that, like, I got... I think I actually, like, beat it, but I didn't do any of the uh, post-game content. But this is... This is, like, functionally better and it looks nicer. Anyway, characters pursue their adventures on their own without troubling you for directions. Your characters complete adventures by themselves. He is wearing nothing.
Okay, so I can tell him to flee. Gold. Buy recipes, level up your characters, improve their attributes. So he's going to be just grabbing copper ore. And so on and so forth. Well, that was easy. I think I might get rid of this man for somebody that doesn't offend my eyes, but we'll see. Okay, so let's bring him back. Okay, character visited the forest. Heroes shouldn't just hang around all day. We've already completed that one. You've done well. At least your hero didn't cut and run before even approaching the forest. They certainly have potential. Dressing wounds. Your hero is wounded. Go to the church. But keep in mind, treatment is at your expense. The treasury isn't, bottom isn't a bottomless well. Uh, do I have a church? That's a market. Uh, oh. Oh, I see. But that's a hot spring. Where the heck is the church? Oh, there it is. Okay. I see. I just have to click on it. So I don't have to drag him over there. That's for the best. Now, do you see why it, the treatment is so expensive? Our churches can treat any wound in seconds. Even mortal blows. Basics of collecting. The villagers are complaining that your character is walking around naked. To solve that problem, collect three chestnut logs in the magical forest, and please, save your questions for later. Oh, dude, we are going to we are going to drape him in logs and nothing more. How do we... How do we go back? I can hire a new character. Food is better than defeat. How do I... Mood, equipment, boss fights. There's a lot here. What is this? So that's storage. How do I see what this guy looks like? Or, oh, I see. I, I click on the stable to send him out. <laughs> I don't know. There's just something weirdly joyous, but also, like, bothersome about all, all of these things that we're seeing, and I'm not sure how to describe it. Okay, so we could have him replay, but let's, at the very least, heal him up. Okay, so I've got 73 coins. The villagers are complete. Oh, right, we already did that. And this gets me a smithy. Can process ore into ingots, which can be used to craft weapons and armor. You have the logs. Very good. Now you can build a smithy, and the blacksmith will make armor for your fighter. It will protect them from injury and make them look even more courageous. Smithy processes ore and ingots, which can be used to craft weapons and armor. I love that <laughs> cat noise. Okay, I like that. So, sort of working in the building. Place your character in it. Oh, so I actually have to have a guy working this. I wonder if they get separate skills for these things. Probably. This really does remind me of Weapon Shop fact Fantasy. Oh, he heals over time as well. Oh, good to know. Okay, craft efficiency. Increases by 6% the chance of creating high-quality items. Strength of the character in charge. Okay, so we can make a breastplate. No, we can't. Well, can I at least make pants? Yes. We can make pants. Oh. How do I equip him? So I've begun construction. I'm already done with that. See if it remembers that I've completed these things. Okay, I've crafted the greaves. Your hero hasn't even forged anything before, so let them start with something simple. Militia greaves, for example. It doesn't matter if they turn out crooked. It's your character who's got to wear them, not you. What amazingly crooked greaves! Your hero will be growing some epic calluses. Did anyone say that the life of heroes is easy? They'll just have to get used to it. It's the only greaves they've got. Okay, broad prospects and sites fall apart. Training camp characters can improve their attributes for a fee, but we need logs. Okay. Hi, I'm your blacksmith. N nice to meet you. There's trouble in the village. The peasants went out to, the to mow the field, and their scythes fell apart into their hands. They need new scythes, but we have no copper. So we need copper. Your fighter is so frail that the greaves just fell right off them. Well, that happens sometimes. Build a training camp so your character can beef up. How do I... So, can I just not equip this onto the guy? How do I equip... I that sound effect is going to drive me mad. I guess we'll find out how to actually equip things on him at a later date.
Yeah, this does make me think of an inc incremental game, but I don't think it's ever going to get to that point. Like, you could absolutely see this turning into something exact, uh, in the same kind of vein as, like, I don't know, maybe Cookie Clicker, but I'm glad that they didn't go that direction. That would be kind of lame. Okay, so we got to keep going. What other games? Oh, Greaves need level 2, and you can get to a menu to equip gear. I'll have to look around. I... I'm a little overwhelmed by the immediate just like things being thrown my direction cuz it it's on rails so like my base instinct is just to kind of follow the rails but then I'm like oh, wait but I want to go off rails for a second and figure out how this works. Anyway. Uh let's see so we've done that. You brought the ore already. Damn, I just sat down to have a nice cup of herbal tea. I was hoping to have some time to relax on my chase lounge. All right, very well. I'll go make the ice. Damn. Okay, so build a training camp. Well, now we definitely have enough. Bango. Oh, I see. I don't have to. Okay, so we can train him up. Increases the level and pretty much all of his base stats. There's also specific attributes. By X, the damage your character deals with swords, axes, and spirits adds health. Agility, damage with crossbows and rifles, and chance to crit. And evade. Intelligence to staffs and orbs and resistance elements, and stamina is damage your character deals with special weapons and white armor and Z to health. So what are the differences on these things? So we have level up and then just attributes, I guess. So we'll level them up at the very least. Meanwhile. The royal advisor was sharing his sinister plans with the gargoyles in the dungeon of the palace. A villain. Finally, I was wondering when we were going to get to the good part. The subjects suffer, but the king can think of nothing but his clothes. It can't go on like this. The country needs a new king, wise and kind and handsome, someone like me. Yesterday I cast a spell to awaken the beasts of the magical forest. The king will go out hunting. Never to return. <laughs> He's going on and on and on about his plans, and he hasn't even worked on his laugh. What an amateur! All the better. The good guys should win in fairy tales. That's just what the winners tell you. If you win, you are good. Can can we join the royal advisor? Can can we have a DLC where where like we immediately recognize him as the superior leader and join him instead? At the training camp, you can raise a character's level and develop their attributes. As you might have guessed, you'll only be you'll be the one who pays for the training. Persistent training. It's time to send your fighter for training and raise their level. If you suddenly run out of money, you can always extract resources, craft items, and sell them at the market. Good work! It's very useful to raise your character's level. There's nothing more frustrating than the high-quality bit of gear that no one can use. Oh yeah, that is how we equip people. Time to dress up. Pants! Your fighter is at least a little bit more confident after training. That hunted look in their eyes is fading. Now try and put the greaves on your hero. Don't forget that your characters are properly equipped before... Uh, to see that your characters are properly equipped before battle. The better their armor, the better your chan character's chances of survival, and the calmer, calmer you can feel. Uh, I'm making his voice older and older as I go along, and I should probably fix that, but I don't know if I can. Anyway, so we get the Hunting Lodge, where logs are processed into planks and skins into leather. You can also create bows, muskets, and leather armor here. And we also get some money. Cool. So what do we got down here? 
Uh, I'm assuming that's where we make the hunting lodge, but I can't do that yet. Okay, ready the hunt. Your fighter should, could really use a good sword. To make one, you'll need a chestnut plank, which you can just make in the hunting lodge. Better build one. All right, onwards, you yuts. I feel like I should almost just keep all of my guys shirtless for the rest of this, but I think that's a bad idea. Loot bag, if you retreat with some health left, you'll keep the loot that's in your bag, but only part of the rest. Okay, well, let's grab the resources and then bail before anything else fights me. It looks like this is the last. Okay, that's good. It does look like we are going to have some kind of boss monster. I hope we can replay. It'd be bad if this was one of those games that, like, constantly punished you. Oh, he does gain HP back on his own, so I don't actually have to pay money for it. Well, that's good. Because I am going to hire a new character. I don't think we have enough money, though. Can we not have... Oh. Well, we have Kazuki. But we're probably going to get wrecked if we send Kazuki out. So in retrospect, I screwed up. Not too much, but I screwed up nonetheless. Impudent Miller. Sorry to bother you, but the miller is boring me to death. He wants me to fix his millstone. But where can I find the chestnut planks I'll need? Could you help? Okay. A fighter could really use a good sword. To make one, you'll need a chestnut plank. Which you can make in the hunting lodge. Better build one. Okay, in the hunting lodge, you can make ranged weapons and leather armor. After all, swords aren't for everyone. Some people prefer to hide behind someone else and shoot arrows. Okay, so we want to make chestnut planks. Craft. I guess she'll just be... She'll be our crafts lady for the time being. We need more. Two arms! A wooden toy sword is very sweet, but... It's time to give your fighter a proper weapon. Send your fighter to the smithy and let them make a sharp blade. Okay. So, can we make a... Can we actually make a weapon? Heck no. We are far off from being able to do any of those things. She might be able to process... Nope, we don't have bupkis. Alright. Wolf hunting. Hi, and my sons and I are the best monster hunters in the whole kingdom. I heard that you and your men have decided to challenge us. Don't make me laugh. You can't even hunt down a wolf. Okay, onwards. Yeah, hopefully that boss doesn't just, like, crush my face. Before I'm ready. Or maybe it crushes my boss. Ugh, crushes my boss. Crushes my face, and then we start over again. Okay, well, it didn't set us on fire this time around, so that's a good sign. Yeah, hopefully we get past the kind of tutorial... Ah... Uh... Yep, we got it. Okay. I was worried for a second that we weren't going to be able to uh, get it working. So the bag is the only... The bag is the first one. Everything else is just stuff that they're carrying on them. Okay, well, let's close. Now, I know you don't die-die. You, you do recover. Somewhat. Okay, so let's process those. We're still a fair ways off of making the rest, though. I'm just going to be stingy. How about this? How far can she go with nothing? Because worst comes to worst, we just bail. Bail. <laughs> Sup, wolf? Alright. Onwards! Bailing, bailing over the ocean blue. <laughs> this character can't do shit. But that's okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we are still making progress. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> well, this works. The moment I see the wolf, it's just like, yeah, I'm probably gonna die if I fight this thing. Ah, she might get it. Nope, bail, bail. Okay, time to switch them around. 
Alright, so we got at least a little bit more of that. I guess I'll have him work on the chestnut planks. Okay, we should be able to make that new sword, yeah? Perfect, so... We're gonna send him out with the new sword first, and then I'll work on the other things. Uh, let's see. So, Eddie... Eddie, you can have the training sword as opposed to the this sword. Oh, looks like we might be able to sell some things-ish. Okay. The blade turned out much better than the greaves. But we recommend you keep an eye on your fighter. Trainees have been known to cut off their fingers. Okay, can I level him up again? So she's actually much cheaper to level. We'll just love them, level them both, and we'll go from there. Okay. That's a big thing, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm doing better. Woo, he's got some goods. Yeah, we could probably even fight a wolf, too. Fight me, creature. It only emboldens my, my dude. Uh-oh. Two of them, though. Okay. So, when I retreat, it looks like it puts the meter back. Probably for the best. Okay, let's have her working on planks. Did we even chop down any trees there? We did. Okay, so we can finish this quest at the very least. Okay. Wow, you brought the planks. Thank you. I'll go and tell the miller the good news, but I've decided to let him fix the mill by himself. After all, I'm a blacksmith, not a carpenter. Horse vacation. Our locals are scolding me. Supposedly I do nothing all day except basking in the sun, but it's because I've run out of copper. If you bring me some, I'll make you a helmet. We'll get a random helmet. Not necessarily the end of the world, but I don't really have a whole lot. I'd like to keep equipping my dude, but eh, yeah, probably should. Let's see, maybe monsters get stronger as you level up your dudes? No, nah, it's based on the percentage of the... Uh, the zone we're in. So since we're in the forest... Since we're in the forest, uh... And we're at like 25% or whatever. I'm not betting on this one. Okay. We're just going to equip her. Types of weapons. Damage inflicted by weapon depends on one of its bear's attributes. Strength, agility, int. Yeah, I figured as much. So, because I have, like, next to nothing, I'm just going to keep sending out uh, my two characters in kind of alternating shifts, and I'll just have them share the same equipment. Because, yeah, I can't afford anything else anyway. But, yeah, so retreating makes the meter go back by 1%, which is cool. So, potentially, if I actually got the meter below, like... A bunch. I could probably actually get it back down so it's like easy peasy mode again, but I don't really need that. But it is kind of a nice way of pacing it out now so my characters aren't constantly in danger. Though they are constantly in danger. Okay, he's not fully healed yet. Okay, can I make more of these? He is pretty close to fully healed. And yeah, I know I could be sending, uh, spending money on this. But like... Alternatively, I can be Stingeman Supreme and uh, level up occasionally. So can I level up his any of his stats? So I'm, I'm going to just train Eddie as a, as a punch man. So it looks like these are separate. It looks like there might be more progressions as we go along. So every time I level up one of these stats, it costs 100, 150, something like that. Okay, that makes sense. Well, I'm enjoying the mechanics so far. It it very much is... Uh, I, I keep bringing up this Weapon Shop fantasy game. I played it ages ago, but... It was very similar to this, but not as... Not as mechanically deep, I think. So this is actually kind of fun... To see something very similar to something I played before, but considerably better than it was. 
Okay, we are going to bail if he gets into any other any other scuffles. Nope, we're good. Okay, Eddie. Hopefully we get to send characters out at a later date. We don't have enough money. I probably should have actually sp spent that time on... Um, I should have spent some of that money on upgrading her instead of increasing his physical stats, but whatever. I think that might be enough wolves, too. But yeah, hopefully we can send out a whole party. I'd love to have, like, a healer as part of this group. Whoops. Time to bail. Okay. So, at this point, let's keep cycling the equipment. Like the cheese ball I am. But we should probably process some gear. We finished the timber wolves. So you completed the task. I bet it was a challenge for you, wimps. My younger son beats wolves with a knife. What about a more serious beast? Okay, can we make copper ingots? We can. Now, admittedly... This just gets me... No, it gets me a random helmet. Okay, that's worth it. Thanks for the copper. Here's your helmet. It looks quite ordinary, but it has a number of useful properties. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. But now I'm tired, so I'm going on a vacation. Exploiters! Okay, so we have a militia helmet. Better defense, better health, and ice damage resistance, which is actually kind of nice. Oh, good. Eddie, d Eddie still looks like a complete tool, but slightly less of one. Okay, let's move her down here. Got more of those. Let's make some of that. So I can make a scout's jacket, pants, and some other things. Well, he's got a helmet, so that makes him better. So, I'm gonna be honest, Eddie is going to be the disciple of the Holy Swole. I will probably put a sh put some actual armor on him at some point, but if I can ever have him bare his chest, he will. Like, that's that's just going to be his... That's just gonna be his thing. He, he is the guy that, like, the moment he knows that it's at least somewhat okay for him to be shirtless, he is shirtless. And that's... That's how he operates. That is... That is... The doctrine of the Holy Soul. Like, that's just how it works. Around here. Okay, so mood. The fighters are spoiled and their spirits have fallen because of all the hard work they've had to do. They keep wandering around the village, complaining about life. Send them to the spa. So increase... Ooh! Increases the maximum number of characters in a party. Well, it's a good thing we have multiple. Each character has a range of moods. When a character is happy, they get a number of benefits. Things start getting more difficult when they're not. Hard work like crafting and adventuring worse than a character's mood, but things look much brighter after a trip in the spa. Oh, there we go. It's that. Oh, I think I made Ka Kazuki rest there. Whoops. Alright, whatever. Mood improved. Okay. The spa puts your characters in a good mood and high fighting spirit. It's, best, it's the best medicine for stress, colds, and excess body fat. Okay, so we've got that. I'm not, I'm not sure what that sound effect was. It sounded like something dying. The fighters are very is very fine, of course, but if they but they stand alone against many enemies, it's almost unfair. Hire a partner for them if you haven't already done so, and send your newly formed party of fighters to the magical forest. Oh, I see. That noise was the other horse showing up. I got it. Okay, so we might as well build her to be a crossbow woman if I can. Do it. Yeah. Okay, simple crossbow is yep. Better. Okay, so we got a simple crossbow and we also have some pants. Oh! And this is how we upgrade something. We need pine logs, though. That's a little bit out of my. Oh, requires level 4. Well, butts. Uh, I guess you'll just have to do for the time being. Types of attacks. Characters with melee weapons can only attack if they're standing at the front of the group. Characters with melee weapons... Okay. Well, I don't have any more chestnut planks. We do have some more wolf leather. I'm just gonna send them both out, and we're just gonna have Kazuki just watch from behind, I guess. Mm. 
Moral encouragement. Hopefully we... Well, we did get two logs. We need more than that, though. I'm gonna bail. Uh, let's see. How much How much money do I need? 300. Oh! How much money do I get? A second fighter will need a ranged weapon and they won't be able to fight. By the way, while you're away on adventures, we've issued a permit for you to build a fashion house. Ooh! Is that how I can change how my characters look? Real challenge. Time for your fighter to prove their worth. Let's show them that your investments have not been in vain. See if they can defeat a couple of strong ants. Our children are afraid to go picking berries because of them. Fashion House provides a wide range of patterns for dressing up your characters. You can also participate in fashion contests. That's exciting. As if the regular monsters weren't enough, there are also elite monsters, which are stronger than the usual ones. Some think it's worth it for the better rewards. Okay, can I level her up? Yes. That puts her at level 4, which means she can use that crossbow we made. So we don't have to worry about it. Good. Uh, they have healed, right? Yes. Fight! What is this? Spells. Oh, so I can get, like, healing spells and stuff. Well, that's kind of nice. Trying to see if any of the rest of this UI matters. There's... Oh, those are spell points, probably. Okay, well, I'm gonna drink some of my smoothie while we wait for them to murder everything. Ow. At the church, you can order healing for your adventuring characters, which they'll receive upon their return in, uh, to town. Like le Likewise, the spa will put your characters in a much better mood. Press the town button at the top of the adventure screen. Okay. Oh, is that an elite enemy that I just killed? I guess that's why I got a whole bunch of money. Okay, so let's co close. I'm just going to let them heal up. Let's work on those two. Uh, let's see. So we already have a helmet. We have greaves. We still can't make that yet. There's also spears, which look like it looks like it has a higher damage floor. I'm not sure. Oops. I do need to upgrade this one. Pine planks. Okay, so we're out of commission on that for a while. Did we actually have her? Huh. She didn't make the pants, right? She did, but we can't make the scout's hat yet. But that's okay. Any amount of armor we can do, we can get the better. Okay, so elite units found one out of two. They should be fully healed. Eh, it's close enough. Probably. Heal a bit. Okay, onwards. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to how stressed out they were. Eh, they're okay for now. Whoa, hi. Another elite. Well, at least it didn't poison me this time around. I wonder how big the party you can have is. Probably three people, judging by the UI. Wow, 87 damage. Dang. Just how goofy it looks just the enemy shows up and uh, they just immediately smack it around. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do we... Yeah, let's get him armor. We didn't kill, uh, kill any wolves, but we got some of that. I don't think it does me any good. It's time for your fighter to prove their worth. Okay, we've already done that. You've done well, the Royal Chancellor is... Proud of you. Besides, why destroy nature and cut down trees for firewood when you can chop ants into pieces? Oh, those weird lizard things are ants. Okay, that makes sense. Following fashion. A fashion house is the most important thing you can build for a village. Where else will your heroes be able to join the culture of high fashion? Build one immediately. Oh, market. I... I see. That's where I get extra cash. Fashion House Pro Swag Shop provides wide range of patterns for dressing up your characters. You can also participate in fashion contests. Good. 
Occasionally, random things will happen across the map. Click on the corresponding icon to join in. Death to thieves. Your farmers caught a burglar who is robbing their houses at night. Seeking revenge, they brought him to you. The accused man begs for forgiveness and declares that this is all a big mi misunderstanding. He had nothing to do with any of it. Indeed, the evidence and proofs supplied by the farmers raised more questions than answers. Do you want to banish the accused from the village? No. Rescued from a miserable fate, the grateful wretch hands you a bag of gold. From the looks of your characters, you can see that not everyone is happy about your show of mercy. Bye. Honored guests. Yesterday, some visit visitors from a distant village played played cards with our hunters and lost their spears. Their way back is long and dangerous. Could you help them? We'll give you some leather for it. Give two light spears to the visitors from the distant village. Okay, so... I'm actually going to level her up first. Because she's a little bit flimsier. Modern diet. Have you heard about the new zucchini diet? No, it's so amazing. I already have the zucchini, the mustard, and the honey. The only thing I need is the grated wolf leather. Oh, God. All right. Whatever. Sure. Epic gag. When using a potion, there's a 20% chance it won't be used up. Oh. Well, that's cool. I assume that's like a talent that you can get for a character. Okay. Well, onwards. All right. Well... I think this is actually going to be a pretty good stopping point. We've got two characters actually working together in the same party. They're barely equipped and uh, pretty dang weak and barely capable of fighting anything, but that's okay uh, because we're making progress and it's a lot of fun and I'm really enjoying this game. I will say this probably a couple times over the course of this series, but this is already my favorite Lazy Bear game. Game? G Lazy Bear Games game? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, you know, it's it's very laid back. It is going to be insanely grindy, but it looks like there's... It's a little bit less... I don't know. Not punishing. Mindless? Graveyard Keeper was just like an infinite amount of tasks. I I guess actually I know what it is. There's no inventory management. That That's it. That's all it needed. Because yeah, we're just, we're just going. We're just grabbing resources and we're... We're beating on some, some monsters. And that's, that's all it needed. I don't know. I, I really like it. This game is really fun, and I can't wait to play more. And I hope you guys, you guys are enjoying this just as much as I am. So I guess with this, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Swag and Sorcery. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh, and of course, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, yeah, this is going to be a full series for sure. Uh, so like I was saying, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.